Hi, so I'm going to to try and make leaves to populate the head of my uh, my ant uh, in order to get all these low poly leaves above its head. So this is where I'm at. I did a few uh, a few dynamic leaves up there. This is my uh, my high poly with a uh, poly paint, and I've got another version, this one low poly that I export. And then I create UVs using 3D code. You can use whatever program you like for this. 3D code is very efficient. Uh, then I load inside Substance Painter my low poly. Okay, th there it is. And now I'm going to bake all the maps. So I go in uh, Texture Set Settings, Bake Mesh Maps. I choose 248. And for the moment, I'm going to keep it by default. I apply the diffusion. I choose my high poly. And I bake everything. So there you go, you have nice leaves. Uh, I, I just create a fill layer and I activate only the color. And in there I put the color map that I just baked in order to get the base color, the albedo of my leaves. So here they are, nice normal maps, nice color, except uh, we can of course, uh, we can still see the 3D object around and we'd like to get rid of this. So what I'm gonna do is uh, now I need to recalculate the normal maps only. Uh, let's add here, yeah, I just add a channel opacity for later. So I bake the maps again, but only one. I bake the normal maps. I remove everything else and I don't apply this time the diffusion and I put dilation to zero. This way there is no padding, no bleeding of the pixels outside of the mesh. So this is now a, no a new normal map and as you can see the background is empty. Let's export these normal maps. So click right, export resource. Uh, you open what you just exported, you open it in uh, Photoshop. You have a nice transparent background. You put a layer style, color overlay, white, normal, 100%. And then you add another layer to get a background. You fill it with a black color, put it under, and this is the opacity map you created from the normal maps without bleeding. So import this in your shelf as a texture inside the current project. And there you go, you have now a nice opacity map. We need to recalculate, I just did them before to show you, but recalculate now the normal maps like they should be with, uh, with diffusion. Okay, so everything is good. We have all the proper maps from Substance. Now I'm going to create uh, I, I add the material, sorry, in the, in the properties of my layer and I, and I put the opacity, but I can't see it in the viewport. So to do this, you go in shader settings, just there, and instead of PBR metal rough, uh, you're going to select one of these two alphas. This one is zero one, uh, means you can't or you can't see, and the other one is a gradient. For what, for what we have to do, um, PBR alpha test is good enough. So let's choose this one. And now, as you can see, uh, with the alpha test, we can see the alpha in the viewport, means the leaves are nicely cut. The normal maps are clean also because we recalculated them with the bleeding. And this is the, uh, the low poly 3D leaf that you will be able to populate using speed tree or whatever.